For untold centuries, snowmelt from Washington State's Olympic Mountains flowed downstream into the Elwha River, then eventually to the Pacific Ocean in the early part of the 20th century. Entrepreneurs decided to harness that constant flow of water for hydroelectric power for the booming towns growing up nearby. They built two dams, the tallest of which was 21 stories high. By 1913, the electricity flowing to the growing cities was good news for a fast-growing economy, but bad news for the salmon trying to migrate upriver to spawn. An entire ecosystem was changed, and the fish disappeared. With 90% of their habitat cut off, the salmon population of 400,000 per year shrunk to fewer than 3,000. But that was the price of progress. But over the years, the tide of technology and public opinion turned. Native American tribes who depended on the salmon runs gained more political power. The dam's hydroelectric capabilities dwindled, supplying only a fraction of the power used by nearby residents. 100-year-old technology would have to be updated, equipment replaced, the cost of the upgrade greater than the return. In 1992, Congress authorized the Elwha River to be restored to a free-running river again. The dams were ordered demolished, but it took almost 20 years for the dam removal project to begin in earnest. Three years ago, it finally did. The hydroelectric turbine stopped and the dams started to come down. It didn't come easy. There were 80,000 tons of concrete to bring down. This is the largest dam removal effort to date in the United States or elsewhere. This multi-year project was more than just about demolishing dams. As the two huge reservoirs behind the dams were emptied, employees of Olympic National Park began one of the largest plant restoration projects in Park Service history. Over the seven years that we'll be doing this project, we'll be installing more than 400,000 plants. Those plants will reclaim 800 acres that had been underwater. In the next 50 years, there's going to be a brand new forest growing up, new paths for water finding its way off the hill slopes into the river, uh, new places for salmon to spawn. That's probably going to keep me busy just watching the river change for the rest of my life. The river was already changing, even before the last piece of concrete came down. The fish were coming back home. Salmon that haven't been in here for almost a century are utilizing their habitat again. And there will be more. Now, after two and a half years of digging, blasting, removing and rechanneling, the last pieces of the dam are down. Now, for the first time in more than 100 years, the river flows freely from the headwaters to the Pacific. In time, you won't even know a dam was here. You're gonna have bears, otter, eagles all along the watershed, all along the, the riverside all because the salmon came back. 